As we all know, the PlayStation 5 console is coming out fairly soon. The original PS5 pre-orders were available mid last month and were snapped up super fast. We had another wave of pre-orders again near the end of September and they went stupidly fast again. So many of us are wondering, is the PS5 sold out or not for 2020? We think you might be in luck. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So by the end of this year, the new shiny Sony PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S will be among us and all of us can't wait to get our hands on a shiny new tall PS5 console. First of all, I want to say I'm a big fan of technology and that is why I've created this channel. I am a fan of both Windows and Macs, also a fan of Android phones and iPhones. Also the same again, I'm a fan of all consoles. So I'm a fan of Nintendo with all their consoles, including the current Nintendo Switch. I'm also a fan of Sony with the PlayStation consoles and then a fan of Microsoft and the Xbox. I love all technology brands and I believe each have major strengths and weaknesses. However, However, I am not biased to one brand, in particular biased to a console brand. So with that information out of the way, this video is everything to do about the PS5 pre-order situation and how we can possibly get our hands on it before the end of 2020. But first. This channel has recently hit over 70,000 subscribers, what I'm over the moon about. So in celebration of this, I'm doing a little bit of a giveaway where one lucky subscriber will be able to get their hands on this. It is an iPad 8th generation. And what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be giving you details later on in this video, how you can possibly get your hands on this iPad. And then when we get over 75,000 subscribers, I'm going to reveal who the lucky subscriber is who's going to get their hand on this iPad 8th generation. So keep on listening. So, back in June, we saw the Sony PS5 event where it showed off the Sony Game Studios PlayStation 5 exclusives. And then at the very end of the event, we got a reveal of the final console, or should I say, the console's design. Then on September 16th, we've got the news we wanted to hear, the reveal about the PlayStation console's official launch date of November the 12th or the 19th here in the UK where I live. The date fits in well for PlayStation release history where the PS3 came out on November 11th 2006 and then the PS4 came out on November 15th 2014. All these dates are very close. It also does mean for 7 years down the line we can probably gauge when the PS6 will probably be out, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. But anyway, in that September event, the main surprise that Sony dropped and the biggest bombshell of all, they said the PS5 pre-orders will start tomorrow, September 17th. What a shocker, and so many of us were not prepared for this. Many of us, like myself in the UK, had less than 12 hours to get our affairs in order ready for the pre-order. I hadn't even bought a tent yet to camp out. For me, I wasn't around to watch the September 16th event live, so I caught up a few hours later and I was totally gobsmacked of how long I had to get ready to pre-order a PS5. So when the next day started on September 17th, I considered myself lucky that I managed to get a pre-order of a PS5 on the 17th from Amazon and it should be arriving to me in the UK on November 19th, what I've just checked out again, it has not been delayed. However, it was total chaos to pre-order all over the world and within less than one hour or in some cases a matter of minutes, the PS5 was sold out from all major retailers across the world. A lot of hardcore fans were disappointed, but luckily Sony had said that more PS5s were coming soon with a second wave of pre-orders and that date happened to be on September 25th only three days after the Xbox Series X pre-order date. That I'll be honest, we were more prepared for, however there were some issues there as well, but that is a story for another day. 
However, that second wave of PS5 pre-orders availability was less again. What I mean is there were even less consoles available on this date than there were on September 17th. And then to make matters worse, this date of the 25th of September wasn't so big or so public out there for people to line up and get ready to possibly get their hands on a PS5. But then, to make matters worse, and I really don't want to sound miserable here because I'm really looking forward to the console and I really want people to get their hands on it, Sony announced to retailers to tell certain people who had done pre-orders that they possibly wouldn't even get their console on November 12th or November 19th like here in the UK on the actual release date. They might have to wait a little longer. So as you can see, it has been a mess for pre-ordering a PS5 this year. Well, that's all the miserable stuff out of the way. Let's get on to the positives. Well, the good news we have been told, there is another chance, or even two, to get your hands on a PS5 in 2020. We have been told here in the UK that on launch date that there will be more PS5s available, so a third wave. However, no numbers confirmed on how many will be available to just pick up from the store or if it's been confirmed that you'll be able to pre-order and then pick them up a few days or weeks later. I also do believe this will be the same case in the US and other countries that have a launch date of November the 12th as well. Personally, I believe that Sony are working on bringing more PS5 normal disc versions on this date as these are the PS5s that are selling the best than the all digital version. Not to say that the digital version is bad or anything, but I'm sure Sony will be focusing on what sells the best at this stage. So that giveaway I mentioned earlier, to be in for a chance to possibly get your hands on that iPad, make sure you've hit the subscribe button and the bell button first. Then I want to know from you, are you excited about the new PS5 and will you be buying one or getting one on pre-order? Or have you pre-ordered it already? Let me know in the comments below as I would love to know if you're planning on getting one. And once we hit over 75,000 subscribers, I will reveal the winner of who will get their hands on the iPad. Moving on, if you know much about the PS5 specs, you will know that AMD, the tech giant that has been commissioned to make the processors and graphics chips in both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X next-gen consoles, is ramping up production to prepare for their respective launches, says the AMD CEO, Dr. Lisa Su and she confirmed this back in May 2020. We believe that Sony will therefore also have another fourth wave of PS5s coming out before the end of the year, but obviously this will be after the release date of the PS5 in November. If I was to pinpoint this time when they will be available, I would say it's probably going to be early to mid-December when this will happen, just in time for the holiday season and Christmas. Now, the main reason why it's so hard to get our hands on a PS5 this year is the logistics of parts. As you can imagine, parts are being made for the PS5, like the Zen 2 AMD processor for the console. However, when you're ordering millions of these chips and other components with COVID-19 about, everything does slow down. To keep costs down, Sony and the likes of Xbox ship parts by boats or ferry as it's cheaper. However, it does take longer to do this. With the delay of COVID around, this is meaning in some countries, some parts have to be isolated for days or sometimes a couple of weeks, and it is slowing down the production of assembly. This then means the completed and assembled consoles literally do miss the boat to be shipped out to countries ready to be put on the shelves. Now, Sony could send these by air travel. However, it would mean big losses to them, and they would have promised a price that they cannot increase. However, there is some other good news. If you have managed to get your hands on the pre-order of a PS5 this year, we've been told that all the new accessories, so the likes of the new HD camera, the wireless headset, and the new DualSense 5 controller pads, there will be loads available for the release date. Well guys, that is the latest and greatest in what we know for the PS5 pre-orders and availabilities. So it's time to wrap up this video. What are your thoughts on the PS5 pre-orders? Do you think it's a mess and could have been controlled better? Or do you think it's totally understandable? Also, will you be getting one on day one or will you wait it out? Let me know below. Also, if you've liked this video, please remember to press like. And if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, 
don't forget to press that subscribe button, followed by the bell. Until next time guys, see ya!